So a little update for the uh, does a futon fit in the Airstream video. Uh, it was uh, basically, when did I, I think I did that two days ago. And I came up today thinking, you know, wouldn't it, be, wouldn't it be great if I could put this on a slider so I could slide the table out, prop it up and then slide it back and that would get around this issue with the futon interfering with the table. Well, I was looking at it and uh, it has some dovetail uh, cuts in the side of it. Let's uh, take a look at it. So I was looking at the side of it here. This is the, the edge of the table. The table's folded down there. And I was looking in there and thinking, huh, I, you know, I could probably put a, a, a slider there so I could slide the table this way. And then I got to thinking about it, and I was thinking, why is there dovetails there? And, uh, well, a very interesting fact about uh, this, and I don't know if it's common for this age of Airstream or not, but it turns out that actually does the job of sliding the table out of the way of the gaucho and whatever else would have been there. So I'll put you on the stand and uh, I'll show you how it works. All right, so we have our futon here. Obviously, it's interfering with the table. So what do you do? Well, I was thinking of some way to slide it in front of the door, like I was saying, and prop it up. Well, with the dovetails, what you're gonna do? Now I gotta, I gotta uh, fix this up a little bit. It's a little bit stiff, but all you gotta do is slide this out, flip up the table. Now I haven't, I haven't fixed, I haven't repaired this table yet. I'm gonna come over here so I can actually set the. Uh, Put the leg down. Put the leg down, and then you simply slide this back to place, and all of a sudden you have your table up against the couch. If obviously, uh, when you want it to be a bed, you're going to have to put the table down and leave it down. Uh, it simply won't, will not work. But this is brilliant. And then once I actually fix the extension, then you can actually uh, pull up the extension and uh, have a nice little dinner table. Now it's a little tricky to get your feet around uh, to sit in that corner of it. But all things considered, that, I think that works out pretty well. So I'll show you it again. All we got to do here, actually I'll pull it in first. Enough to clear the, uh, the futon. Put the leg up. Rotate it down. And slide it in. So I thought that was super fantastic. That's exactly what I wanted. Now, like I say, it's not going to work when this is in the bed position. Let's just move it into the bed position now. Turns out I have to slide the futon out a little bit um, to clear the corners of the bed. Um, but my wife and I, we lied down on it. It's a quite a nice wide bed. So this is going to work out really well. So the, the table will have to be down, of course. In the morning, we fold it up, put our... Um, pillows and stuff under the under the couch under the futon and then put the table up by sliding it out so brilliant so Airstream obviously thought about this and had a workaround now I don't know how the original gaucho worked but I assume that was part of the, con uh, the consideration for the actual dovetail uh, woodwork that they have under there so that is really really neat that you can do that I had no idea and I was looking at it and I thought oh, I could get some hardware for that turned out like I say Airstream had already thought about that Pretty cool stuff. Now the other thing that um, we will need to do is this futon is going to need to slide back and forth uh, right, basically every night because uh, when it's in its couch position obviously it's able to sit much farther back to the wall. In bed position it's got to slide out by uh, about looks like six inches or so is what it's going to move. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two by fours under here that will lift up the whole thing and uh, and maybe some wheels underneath that so you can kind of slide it a little bit. You need a 2x4 because it's got to be supported under here and on the back. There's little legs. that uh, There, you can see the leg there. And, of course, it's got the legs. So it's six legs in total. So if I put a 2x4 across here under all three, 2x4 here, put some casters on it, then we can kind of roll it back and forth as needed. And uh, that should work really well. The other thing is that it sits very low. Uh, for the table if you're sitting at the table you actually sit quite low I think even with the you know three four inch cushion on it it's still going to be pretty low so the addition of a two by four will just kind of raise it up so it's uh, more suitable for actually eating at the table uh, but all in all I think that is a very very cool discovery and now I do have to uh, f fix up this table this is a bit looser I'm not sure how it's fastened to be honest 
um, but it's kind of pulling the whole unit down. I don't even, like I said, I don't know how it's fastened to the wall, whether it's riveted or not. I, I need to strengthen all that, and then of course I need to fix the actual um, extra leaf that goes in that table so we can make use of it, but I mean, that's brilliant. That solves my problem of having the futon in here, so it's going to work. It's going to work real nice, and it's going to be fairly cheap. I got this, this futon frame for free. It's going to be about $100 probably to get, to get the futon mattress because we don't want to have someone use used futon mattresses. Those, those are always pretty uh, disgusting. You, know, you, know, you never know where it's been. Uh, so we'll pay 100 bucks for that, but it was good that I was at least able to try the futon in here. So all in all, I think it's going to work really well. Put this back up in the catch position. So you can see about uh, about six inches. I have to move it there. Not bad. And with casters, it'll work really well. And then you just leave the uh, the table out for the whole day. That's the only time you got to move it. Uh, morning and night, basically, to get the bed ready. And it's very easy. Um, I'll probably even add a little bit of. Uh, I don't know what castor oil or something like that some sort of oil just to grease up the the dovetail there uh, so it's not as stiff and uh, firm up the rest of the construction so a little bit of detail about uh, that um, I'll probably do a whole video about the table honestly by the time I actually get to fixing it up it's pretty neat construction the way they've done that just uh, we'll take another look at the uh, the dovetail mechanism in there they there you can see if it focuses there you can see the dovetail mechanism so it's going to be a little bit more fragile it's kind of hanging off the dovetail just from use and wear you can see the back plate has been has uh, cracked a little bit um, if I can maybe even take this right apart I can probably glue that up and uh, just fix it a bit more but it's well used well loved for sure and I don't know how many times that's slid out I don't even know I don't even know if people realize it did that because you, you may not you may not have realized that unless you actually had to pull out a bed or something in here. And so, anyways, I was pretty excited with that. Um, I thought you'd be interested to see that as well. If you didn't know that about uh, a 19, 1965 Airstream Tradewind camper. All right, I'll leave it there as a follow up. Kind of a well, it's not a teaser, but it's kind of it's a follow up to the last video I did about the futon. I think it'll work. I think the futon's going to work real nice. And um, I think the next video may be. Uh, tackling that table. Now that I know it can stay there, I can actually go ahead and spend some time and fix it up. So, thanks for watching, guys. As always, uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.